Good morning, guys. It is Thursday, and today for our steam activity, we are going to be making some super awesome lava lamps. So for this, if you have not checked out the ingredients, you're gonna need a water bottle or a clear container. You're gonna need food coloring, that's optional. You don't have to use it. And then you're gonna need your Alka-Seltzer packets that were mailed out, or if you have them at home, you'll need Alka-Seltzer. You'll also need vegetable oil. So if you have not received your Alka-Seltzer in the mail yet, hopefully you'll get it today. Um, we mailed them out over the weekend, so they should be getting to you today or tomorrow, hopefully today, so that you can do um, the lava lamp activity. So you'll need, um, if you are using the worksheet on our website, go ahead and write down the title of the experiment, which is Lava Lamp. And then you're gonna fill out your hypothesis. So today the question is, does the size of the Alka-Seltzer piece affect the number of blobs created? So the blobs are gonna be what are inside this when we have the reaction that happens. So if you put a bigger piece in, does it affect the blob or a smaller piece? Then you're going to draw a sketch of what you think your lava lamp is going to look like. So if you're using a clear container, it's gonna look different than if you use a water bottle. If you have the little snack size water bottles, that actually works better because you don't have to use as much oil but if you don't if you're just you could use a cup like I used a liquid measuring cup you could use something like that something that's clear that you could see the the blobs once the reaction happens then you're gonna take out you can see in my water bottle you're gonna take out about a fourth or a third of the water bottle you could do a half but then that's a lot of oil that you're gonna be using so you're gonna Empty that out so you could drink it, you could pour it out, you could water some plants with some of the water, but you're gonna pour out some of the water. And then you're gonna fill up to the top with vegetable oil. And I used a liquid measuring cup so that it helped because it's got a little bit of like the pouring spout so that it was easier to pour into that. And I wanna just say before you actually do the, the experiment, do not drink this. I know that it's in a water bottle and it looks like it's a super fun drink, but do not drink this. It's that the vegetable oil and the water would definitely give you a bellyache. So don't, this is not a drinkable lava lamp. We're just pouring it into the water bottle so that we can see a super cool reaction. Okay, so once you get that in, you're gonna put your food coloring in, but do not shake the bottle. So don't shake it up. It will, it will eventually look like this when the food coloring kind of breaks open in the oil. So don't shake your bottle because you're gonna, then it's gonna mix everything up. All right, so then in your data collection, you're gonna draw what your picture or your lava lamp looks like now. So once you get your um, oil and water and food coloring, if you're using it in there, you're gonna draw what it looks like. And then you're gonna break the alcohol. Oh. Alka-Seltzer pieces apart in the container. So like while it's still in the packaging, crush it up with your hands and bend it because you're gonna want little pieces of it. You're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to put the whole piece, the whole tablet of Alka-Seltzer in there. And then once you get the little pieces, you're going to take the top off of your water bottle and you're gonna drop the Alka-Seltzer pieces in it. And you're gonna to start to see some blobs going up through your lava lamp. And so while you're doing that, you can play around the size of pieces. You could do big pieces, you could do small pieces. Um, that's actually one of the analysis questions is how does the size of the tablet affect the size of the blob in your um, lava lamp? So go ahead and you can play around with that and watch your super cool blobs move through your lava lamps. The analysis questions for today are, did the size of the Alka-Seltzer tablet affect the number of blobs and how did it affect it? Did you notice a change in the size of the blobs when you added bigger pieces of Alka-Seltzer? And when the oil was added on top of the water, they didn't mix. Which was more dense, the oil or the water? 
Um, we do have some extensions for today. One would be to try warm water instead of cold water and see if it still works the way that it's been working. Does the size of the bottle affect? So if you use a smaller container, if you use a clear glass cup, would that affect it? And does it still work if you put the cap on it? So if you put more Alka-Seltzer in there and you put the cap on it, does that affect your lava lamp? Does it still work? So if you guys are following along with making lava lamps today, go ahead and post your pictures. We loved seeing all of your volcano eruptions yesterday. Some super cool, you guys built up around the volcano and we love seeing the eruptions. So if you are posting pictures today, please use the hashtag steam with stride so that we can follow along with all of your steam adventures. Tomorrow we'll have a super cool activity with balloons. We're going to be inflating some balloons so hopefully you can join us this week hope everyone is well and we're surviving this at home schooling and um, we are staying healthy so we'll see you tomorrow